Hello and welcome to this session with the CAD Guild. In the previous video, we discussed NoSQL databases. Here, we are going to discuss a special type of NoSQL database called HBase. HBase is a NoSQL database which is consistent and partition tolerant. It is a key value store where we have a value and a key. A key in HBase is similar to that of the primary key in RDBMS. We already have some knowledge about what tables and columns are. Now, the columns in HBase can be grouped together into families if we want to access them. For columns of the single column family, HBase is quite fast and it does not require to scan all the other column families. Let's understand HBase with some detail. HBase is a Hadoop database, which is distributed, column-oriented, scalable, and is a big data store. Whenever you want to have a random, real-time, read-write to access your big data, HBase can be a good solution. When it comes to storage, HBase can store billions of rows and columns on top of the cluster of the commodity hardware. It is an open source database having the capacity of version control and is an entirely non-relational database. Now, let us find out about the architecture of HBase before we proceed to perform demonstrations and commands in HBase. HBase works on the concept of master and slave architecture. There is an HMaster which performs administrative functionalities like creation and deletion of tables and handling the regions splitting. The region servers act as a slave. Every region server communicates to the HMaster, just like the NAMA node and the data node, where the data node communicates with the NAMA node. The actual data are hosted by the region server in the form of files known as H files, which are optimized files for the storage of data. There is a zookeeper to perform the distribution coordination. The data in the H base table is divided horizontally across different regions. These regions are sorted across different region servers. One region server serves thousands of regions. The size of the region server is one gigabyte by default, which can be controlled as per the requirement. Every region is sorted according to the key and the content of the region is specified by the start and the end key. Remember, HBase is a key value store where the value is a set of column families with the key being a unique identifier of the records. The client can read from the region server for any quantity of data and any key they are looking for. The regions are the horizontal subsets of the table which are stored in the region servers and are sorted according to the keys. Every region server sends its heartbeat to the zookeeper and so does the H master. Zookeeper maintains which among them are active or inactive. You may have multiple HMaster so that if one fails, it does not affect the downtime of the cluster. HMaster is responsible to create and delete tables that are for the administrative tasks and the client will connect to the HMaster. There is another concept involved in HBase called the meta table. A meta table contains the information like in which region or on which region server the start key and the end key will be found. It is of vital importance as, if you do not have the meta table, you will have to scan every region of a particular table to get a data. If you want to get some data for a particular key, and if you have the meta table, you can directly go to the specified region server. Get is an operation which the client performs to read a particular entry from the HBase table, and put is an operation performed by the client to write some data to the HBase table. Whenever these operations are required, the client connects to the zookeeper to get the address of the meta table. On getting the address of the meta table, it stores the details of the data present in the meta table and looks up to that particular data to connect to a specific region server. Inside a region server, there can be multiple regions which may be present in the same table or different tables. There are four important components of region server, which are the mem store, h file, block cache, and write ahead log. h file stores the actual data in the HDFS. Any change like an update, delete, or insert that happens will go to the mem store which is located in the RAM. 
This is because the content of the HDFS file cannot be directly updated. Now, in case there is a failure of the region server, the content of the RAM, including the content of MemStore, is lost. There must be a certain mechanism to recover the lost content, and that is the reason why there is a write-ahead log which maintains the same entry which is there in the MemStore. The difference in write-ahead log and the entry in the append is just the fashion in the HDFS. So, if there is a power failure and the machine fails, then the content of a write-ahead log can be replayed to create the same structure and the same state of the MemStore on a different machine. A point to be noted here is that the number of MemStore is equal to the number of column families in the HBase table. Whenever you read the content, the first thing your block cache is ahead. Block cache is a space in the RAM and it is a one-for-one -one region server. It contains the recently read data and if the data is not found in the block cache, then the MemStore is inquired for as the MemStore contains the fresh changes of data. If the MemStore also doesn't contain a particular key, the H files are scanned to check whether the H files contain that data. This is how HBase functions. Whenever MemStore becomes full, it is flushed and the H files are created. Whenever any new entry must be added to the HBase table, first it needs to be added to the write ahead log, then to the MemStore, and finally, an acknowledgement is sent back to the client. Write ahead log are very important for the phase of failure and in order to repay back the state of MemStore. You can, however, choose write ahead log if you think the data is not of any importance and you can tolerate the data loss. On doing so, you might be able to avoid the write ahead log and improve the throughput of the messages which goes to the HBase. Whenever the MemStore becomes full, it flushes the changes in the form of H files. This is known as flush activity. H files are sorted list of key value pairs. Hope you have got a clear view of the HBase architecture with this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more interesting videos on Hadoop ecosystem at acadguild.com.